Hi, my name is Aydin. My name is Fabio. And we are both students of the UE Germany here in Berlin. And we wanted to do a project for Christmas. The only thing is here at the uni, you have so many different cultures where either you don't celebrate Christmas or you celebrate Christmas in a very different way from the traditional Christian sense. So we wanted to not do that, but extract the concepts what Christmas stands for like friendship, family, spending time together, being connected, love. Because those are concepts and feelings that are universal, everyone can feel them despite where you come from. Yeah, and that's why we decided to make our project named Connecting Cultures. With that we created a small prototype, made posters of it and also wrote a little text that actually got accepted in a newspaper. So yeah, now for the building phase. <laughs> it was nerve-wracking, but it was fun. It was exciting to to learn to something do new. Something analog. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, because we're always just sitting in front of the computer or holding a camera. This was this was actually something fresh, you know. Yeah, fresh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. We then decided to actually have three pyramids in the outside and one pyramid in the inside. The outside pyramids all have a different design, so the facade of the pyramid is either more zigzag or more straight, more horizontal. It's always different on the three, but one side of the outer pyramid is missing and coming together to form the center pyramid, which is kind of coming together these different yeah. cultures. The idea of the connecting cultures are uh, symbolized in this whole in this whole yeah. ar architecture of this of this project. To support this whole idea of the connecting different pieces and mm -hmm. cultures and styles, we decided to use blazers of different colors. This whole idea that you have different sides of cultures but in the end you come together and are one whole big family or yeah one big one big culture so we had the element of the physical we had the element of the light as i mentioned with the lasers and we also had the element of sound uh, we recorded around 25 students from our university and asked them what does celebration mean to you do you celebrate Christmas? And if so, how do you celebrate Christmas? And they were answering in their home language, so in Indian, in Japanese, yeah, in all sorts. Those answers were given back from each of the outer pyramids, so we installed speakers in them. C'est aussi retrouver ses grands-parents, là, toute sa famille au grand complet. Ta Christogena ine parapano ya tinikoyenian. One answer was coming from here and then the next moment from there and you had to move around to, to learn about these different cultures. The Bluetooth devices didn't work as expected because of interferences and bad connections. Mm -hmm. So this whole, this whole Bluetooth thing, it worked but it didn't work like we wanted. Uh, it did not work. <laughs> it was really glitchy. Yeah, and we had other problems like the smoke machine, yeah? Yeah, because, well, the smoke machine. <laughs> so, the pump in the smoke machine failed like one hour before the opening. So we had to buy a syringe from a pharmacy and, um, yeah. Push it inside the machine. <laughs> I think we, we managed to achieve the atmosphere, this yes. mystical, theatrical um, mood. That you go inside of the sculpture, that is not just, oh, look at this, but it's, mm. it's like you are a part of this whole event and sculpture and you can experience this whole thing from the inside, not just from the outside. But we also had a a big learning curve both in, Definitely. in in building it and with technology i loved the work with the mm. with the raw materials you know and yeah for our first installation for my first installation for 
for I mean, we, we've never done something like this. <laughs> never, I think uh, it was a yeah big, big learning and, and very useful experience. Yeah. Thank you, Fabio. <laughs> Thank you. <Ryan. laughs>